Yeah, do you know the difference? Ish? Okay. Yeah. So, a mind reader will get inside your mind, okay? So I'm going to use you for the first bit of this, and I just want you to think of any card in the pack of cards. Now, Ace of Spades is the most commonly named card, but you can have any card you want. And you can say it out loud for me. Okay, um, King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds. Yeah. Perfect, okay. So bear that in mind, okay? We'll come back to that in a bit. That's what a mind reader would do. We'll try and read your mind. King of Diamonds. A magician would do it slightly differently. He would have a pack of cards and possibly a prediction. Okay. And you can see that they're all very different. Actually, I'll flick through so you can see they're all very different. What I'd like you to do is you're just going to pick up and have a look at the card. Okay? So pick up anyone and have a look at the card. Get it in your mind. So now you're merely thinking of a card and you've looked at the card. We're going to go for yours first, then we're going to go for yours. Okay. This is a black card, right? I'm, I'm picking you up really easy here. I've got the king of clubs, right? There's the king of clubs. Um, and this has been on the table the whole time. And again, inside here was one card, one prediction, and that just so happens to match your favorite card, the king of clubs. And you keep picking these at random. But that was how a magician would do it. A mind reader would do it differently, because you're merely thinking of a card. There's no way I could have influenced that, right? It was a free, fair choice, just from your mind. Can you name your card for me? Uh, King of the King of Diamonds. Yeah. You see, I knew you would pick this and I made you pick it. I predetermined it because on the back of this card, I wrote the King. On the back of this card, I wrote Og. And on the back of this card, I wrote Diamonds. 